things, other things I would do in basketball too. Like it's a couple other coverages I would do. The the <laughs> the pick the picker B O B, not bombs over Baghdad, but baseline out of bounds. Yeah. America's play. The America's play. Yeah. You have the guard. You have the best shooter sitting in the middle of the lane. Yep. You have the biggest wing sitting at the top. Yep. Five is on the strong side. You have the point guard taking it out. Yeah. And then the weak side corner. In the weak side corner. Guy. Yeah. It's not many times that the guy, the wing, that's coming down the middle gets that pass. Because in theory, if you're guarding the ball, 1-1,000, 2-1,000, take away the basket, and then jump out, right, to take away the shot. The guy that's guarding the ball, when he says 1-1,000, 2-1,000, 3-1,000, why doesn't he just take the guard that's coming out for the pick to picker? And the guard that's guarding the, the pick to picker guy just falls right to the to the guy that's taking the ball out. Yeah. Mm. Go, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. That is something that we need to appreciate right here before our very eyes. Welcome back to the Stephen A. Smith Show. What you just heard was about a new podcast I want to give a shout out to from the one and only LeBron James himself. He's partnering with former NBA sharpshooter and my colleague at ESPN, J.J. Reddick, on a new podcast that intends to be, quote, a pure conversation about the game of basketball. LeBron emphasized how he doesn't want the podcast titled Mind the Game to necessarily mirror the typical discourse around the sport. James says he's really proud of what The Uninterrupted has done to innovate in sports media. He added he wants to continue producing content his friends would watch. And right here, ladies and gentlemen, he's doing this. First of all, major props and congratulations to LeBron James. I'm dead serious about this. Because if you remember, I'm not going to be hypocritical here. There's a thousand times I've talked about the genius and the brilliance of these basketball players. It's a LeBron James one day. It's a Kevin Durant another day. It's a Steph Curry another day. It's a Chris Paul another day. It's a James Harden another day. The list goes on and on. The NBA is rife with brilliant, brilliant basketball minds. And their problem is they're so damn sensitive most of the time, and they're so dismissive and aloof because they're not talking to somebody they consider on their level. They don't want to talk about it as opposed to taking an opportunity to actually teach the game. Now LeBron has put his words, his bravado, his stature, his money, figuratively speaking, where his mouth is. He is showing you right there elements of the game that the average basketball fan can't possibly think about or see because we're fixated on a finished product as opposed to the nuances surrounding the game, what goes into it, and what ultimately leads to success. But having said all of that, let me be the first to say LeBron James was a little bit slick here too. Brilliantly slick, I might add, because he could have had that conversation on uninterrupted. He could have been talking to Maverick Carter. He could have been talking to Rich Paul. He could have been talking to his crew of boys. But he chose to do this with J.J. Redick. Who is J.J. Redick? One of the great shooters in the history of the game who had a 15-year-plus career in the NBA, who is now a color commentator, a part of the A-team with Mike Breen and Doris Burke on ABC and ESPN games, who's also a contributor to my daytime job, First Take, along with other shows, not to mention the fact he's got his own podcast, The Old Man and the Three, which is very popular. So what happens is when you get with somebody like a JJ who knows the game, who's a brilliant basketball mind, but can be a bit truculent or acerbic at times when somebody he believes is ignorant is in his face talking about the game, to have a voice like that serves LeBron in a multitude of ways because it provides him cover from the regular discourse that would serve to criticize or sully his name in any way because he don't want to do it. He believes that's beneath him. So he got with somebody that'll do it for him. Not to say that's what J.J. signed on for, not to say that's what J.J. is about. I'm just saying that J.J. knows the game, and he is quick to check anybody who thinks they know stuff they don't know about the game of basketball. It's a brilliant move on LeBron James' part. Very slick, and it will work like heaven against everybody except me. It won't work. 
when you go out on that wing and you jacking up shots you don't need to jack up or you're hesitant about getting to the free throw line or you choosing to shoot a, shoot a fall away jump shot instead of taking it to the hole and being that man amongst boys that you are, J.J. ain't going to be able to help you there, no matter what he says. But it is a brilliant idea, and everybody should want to watch J.J. Redick with LeBron James.